Volkswagen Golf here. Uh, customers complaining of vibration when um, driving. And I'll just show you what we can experience. If you keep an eye on the uh, steering wheel. Just jerking away there. And then when we get a bit of speed to it, the whole car shimmying. And the vibration is on the steering wheel. this in your car at any time I would keep the speed down pull over as soon as you can some would say call that a breakdown company to get you recovered to a garage I wouldn't drive this on the main road luckily at the moment I'm driving on private property so and I'm keeping the speed down what we'll do is we put it on the ramp so we'll be fine, and I'll show you that. Okay, car is now in the air. Let's have a look at the road wheels, see whether we can see anything. Uh, back left wheel, fire looks good. No imperfections. Looks good. Driver side rear tyre is bald on the inside edge. Just run that round to see if it's out of shape as well. well it's definitely in need of uh, replacement. Get a spin. Yeah, there's a slight imperfection in the road bar. Nothing I would say would cause that vibration. That one is good. On to the offside front tyre, and I can see there's a bulge here immediately. So we'll just spin that round. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we found the issue. We have a tyre which is amazingly out of shape. That has got a series of uh, bulges within the tyre. So that's definitely what's causing the uh, vibration. You can see that on the camera. Look at that. Okay, now that is a definite... This is why, if you feel this, you stop the car, pull over, because you do not want to be driving with that. Okay. And just looking in there, got the drive shaft there that's got a bit of a, a weep to it as well. Right, so we need a tyre replacement, or two tyres. Let's have a look, just make sure the driver side one's good. Okay, we're all right on that side. Checking the inside. That seems to be good. Just double check, make sure the wheel isn't buckled. Okay. Right. Well, I'm not going to drive that. So we're going to have new tyre on here, new tyre on the uh, back, and probably pop them on the front and pop the remaining ones. Onto the rear of that one. Yeah, now that's going to have to go onto the back, the same side, because it's a directional tyre. So this has to stay this side of the car. So that will go onto the back one there. Luckily, this particular tyre is an asymmetric pattern. So you've got a slightly different pattern on the outside to the inside. So it'll have an outside and an inside, which will be written somewhere on the tyre inside so this tyre 
it can go anywhere on the vehicle as long as that's facing on the inside. So this one will go on the driver's side, the front left will go on the back and tuning was on the front. 